Hello friends, welcome back. Recently in live stream, I got a one important question related to relevance of the Lean Six Sigma. The question was, is the Lean Six Sigma relevant today? I thought I should made a video on this important topic. So I have created this important content so that you can understand whether the Lean Six Sigma is relevant today or not. For easy understanding of this topic and to give you the more clarity, I have divided this topic into five important elements. Even if you don't know anything about the Lean Six Sigma, it is giving you the more clarity. The first part is what is Lean Six Sigma? The second one is what are the emerging innovations in data science? Third, what are the linkages between the Lean Six Sigma and emerging innovations? Fourth, is there any difference with and without Lean Six Sigma certification? And the fifth one is why this is a question. I am also providing you the conclusion for complete clarity. Okay, so let's start with the learning of this important topic with the first question. What is the Lean Six Sigma? Lean Six Sigma is an integration of two important approaches. The first one is Lean and another is Six Sigma. Let's understand each of them in detail. When we are talking about the Lean, it is a systematic approach which reduces waste to improve the process speed. It is a five step approach which consists of step one, identify customer and specify value. Step 2. Map the value stream. Step 3. Eliminate waste from the processes. Step 4. Implement pool system. And the step 5. Pursue perfection by repeating cycle. So in short, we can say we are using a systematic approach of Lean to reduce the waste to improve the process speeds. Whereas if we talk about the Six Sigma, Six Sigma is mainly focusing on reduction of the variation. Six Sigma is a statistical and systematic approach which reduces variation to improve the quality. It is also a five phase approach which consists of define, measure, analyze, improve and control. This five phase approach is following a systematic four step methodology. The first one is what is a practical problem? So this is a question that we are going to ask into the first step. This is nothing but the definition of the problem. Step two. We are converting the practical problem into statistical problem. This is the part of major phase. In step three, we use the power of statistical tools to find the statistical solution. This is the part of analyze phase. In fourth step, we convert the statistical solution into practical solution and optimize that solution. This is a part of improve phase. But to ensure that we are having the better control over our improvements, we are also having the implementation and control in place. This is a part of control phase. So we can see till the point from the introduction of Lean and Six Sigma, these are not depending on any particular time trend. Let's understand what are the nature of tools these approaches are using. Whatever the tools that we are using in Lean Six Sigma, these are timeless tools. That means irrespective of the time, irrespective of your process organization, we are going to use that. They are applicable for any organization and industries. These tools are having ability to solve any practical problems and this also supports innovations and reduces launch time. Understanding of this part is very important when we are going to understand the linkages between emerging innovations and data science. Now the second part is emerging innovations in data science. There are many innovations that are happening in data science like artificial intelligence, cloud services, augmented reality or virtual reality systems, internet of things, big data, automated machine learnings, quantum computing, digital twins. The main intent of this data science is to collect, process, analyze and present this data in a visual format to help companies or organizations in making crucial business decisions. This is the trend for today's and every organization is looking for these data sciences. Till the point, I'm sure you are having the more clarity about what is Lean Six Sigma and what are the emerging innovations in data science. Now let's understand the critical part of this video, which is linkages between Lean Six Sigma and emerging innovations. It consists of three important things. The first one is, as we had seen, Lean Six Sigma focused to improve the business process capabilities. And thereby, when we talk about the artificial intelligence, Artificial intelligence and data analytics go hand in hand with Lean Six Sigma in terms of searching for truth in data to improve the processes. This clearly indicates that though the data sciences are automatic processes, they are again depending on the truth or accuracy of the data. Here, 
the role of lean six sigma is very critical second data analytics can enhance lean six sigma tools and lean six sigma helps to identify areas for applying data analytics that means when we use the data science and lean six sigma together it is possible for businesses to become more efficient and competitive three now let's discuss this topic from the lean perspective if you look at the value stream mapping this is a very important tool in lean used to visually map out the process in detail thereby we can identify the waste from the processes and we can eliminate them now when we talk about this value stream mapping with respect to the data sciences data analytics can help with this to find out where errors occur and what steps can be eliminated as they do not add value to the final product now from this element it might be 100% clear to you what is the importance of lean six sigma into the data sciences now after understanding this third important element let's go to the fourth thing which is is there any difference with or without lean six sigma certification now i'm sure you might be having the answer for it of course yes the lean six sigma is needed skill sets for the current time and future in coming future the lean six sigma skill set will be becoming as an equivalent of ability to read and write so we can see with the introduction of these data sciences lean six sigma is not only relevant but again it is a very important if it is so important then why there is a question like lean six sigma is relevant or not there are some concerns that i am going to explain in detail what are these concerns there are three important concerns here the first concern is majority of the organizations and professionals are looking for certification rather than real learning second concern instead of implementing with deeper meaning and dedication there is a manipulation and exaggeration that is happening with the use of tools and presentations the third concern is no consistent and focused application of the approach in other words we can see there is a issue with persistent resulting in lack of faith because persistent is the another name of faith now as we had discussed about the concern part let's also discuss about some of the solutions here there are three important solutions that i'm going to indicate here the first one is yes certification is important because it is indication that you have gone through the process and you have got that knowledge but it is a sampling test so please have the real learning of this lean six sigma tools and techniques focus on real learning of concepts and their application for the great results so that you can understand what is the real value of this lean six sigma second great results will inspire you for the persistent application of the lean six sigma in real life that will increase your faith and the third solution is approach to the organization that believe in real value addition instead of just a number game if you want to learn about in more detail i am having such a practical program you can learn that by visiting the successfulcareerhub.com now let's conclude this important topic lean six sigma not only improving the importance but it is getting more critical in today's and future life because of importance to the data science if you use the lean six sigma and data science together it is having two important benefits the first one is it helps to build the businesses that can quickly meet changing market demands and second one is get predictability that they can maintain the processes that achieves measurable results and meet the customer demands this is a really critical topic if we consider the today's situations and the coming future thank you for asking this important question being till the end of this video and let's see another important concept in lean six sigma into the next video at the end of this video if you found this information useful then please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to learn lean six sigma and minute app most effectively and practically then please visit at vijayasabe.co/join or successfulcareerhub.com/courses one more important thing if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts you can also join my youtube channel by clicking the join button at my youtube channel by joining this youtube channel you are not only supporting me but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career growth Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.